Alright guys, welcome along to another Monday Modding. Now, it was put in by request about how I did my subsoil. It's been asked many times actually. This is the one I've tweaked. And this one, as someone's been messing about with this, I can't remember your name, sorry. I really can't. My head's gone. <laughs> it is 20 past 1 in the morning. My memory's even worse than what it normally is. Sorry about that. But anyway, this is hopefully going to help you out. As you can see, there's no time or anything like that. This is just default. Aside from this subsoiler, that subsoiler, and the original one of those. But I'll discuss this one first. Now, his complaint was that it was too narrow. And that the sizes of the tram lines that it leaves are weird. One smaller than the other. Now, I'm pretty sure that is a fault of giants. Or just, I don't know, a fault of giants. It's how the game works. Depending on what angle you're working at. Which is hilarious, isn't it? Now, as you can see, that one is clearly narrower than mine. I say mine. I did not build the model. I edited it to work like this. See, that one's just inside the tyre marks. That one is nearly on the inside of the tyre. So, okay, it is narrower. That's either going to be a bitch or easy, because that's designed as a subsoil of this. It was actually designed as a deep cultivator. There it is in all its glory. And here are... The links to there we go. That is the Euro woman. That is the Garant there. Even though you can't see it, but those are the marks it leaves. There you go. Now that's. I will try and put these in the description. If I forget, I do apologise. But they are on screen now. If you want to pause it and check it out, uh, it's easy to find on Mod Host. You just search Subsoiler on here. There's not that many mods. <laughs> Category tool. Boom. <laughs> so easy enough to track down. Right, I have actually got OBS on the wrong one, but it'll work for now. But anyway, that is it as a cultivator. Now I edited it. To edit it, you notice there every one of them is evenly spaced. And this one, that particular one that's left, has been moved over. I did that. Over in blender you have to pull the model into blender and spread them out which is fun I'm not going to go through that today I've done plenty of modeling videos and how I get stuff into blender and tweak it depending on what version of blender is and how it's all syncing it may work it may not blenders awkward at the best of times but yes I moved the whole thing I believe yeah I moved that bar and the mounting bracket and the leg over I can't remember, I think I did, looking at that little mark there, I did patch up the textures. Because it was obviously baked when it was a model, so you end up with a big black bit there. But it is doable, it's not too difficult. I will get round to the technical side of it next, after we've dealt with this again. Right, let's do a little test. Because I think I'm pretty sure what's happening here. So if we head straight south, it cuts like that. Which is really hard to see because it's wiping out all the green as well. <laughs> oh, that is just weird as hell. Is it even cutting at all there now? No, it's not. Well, let's leave it in the ground. Let's see what it does here. Yeah, so it's not even leaving a mark barely on that side, but it is on that one. But if we go the other way, remember it was the right leg leaving more of a mark. No, it's still the right leg. Okay, that's not too difficult to tweak, actually. But the mark is well over. And it sh it's not doing what I thought it was going to be doing. At all. Ah, there we go. Now we're heading west. And they're off-centred again. But they are evenly spaced and if we go this way yeah it's just weird <laughs> but that's a giant's thing more than anything else I bet when we get into the i3d they're gonna be exactly the same I need to be with you now right 
Now this one I think I got pretty right but you will notice similar sort of behaviour. See the right one's larger and the left one is well out. But the tram lines it leaves aren't too bad. Mine is definitely working different to that Garrett. I say mine just for differentiating him. And this time it should be slightly over to the other way. Yes, but it does work. So we get in the green. See, mine's leaving both marks. That only left one. So I'm presuming that the working width is smaller on that. Again, it's not because we're working with smaller things that the game was never designed to do. It's designed to work in larger areas. <laughs> this time we're trying to put down these little marks. Again, you notice it's not working with the tooth exactly. That one's not far out, that one's out. There may be a better way of doing it, but I haven't figured it out yet. And this video will not be doing that. This is just explaining how I did it. that one was pretty much perfect but that's going east this is the same machine no changes it's just the direction you're working in fun isn't it <laughs> I wonder what diagonals like just for the hell of it see it may work better on a multi-terrain angle map as well that's near enough bang on isn't it yeah this is obviously default Westbridge Hills uh, I think it does actually work better on Oldfield Farm because it's got multi-terrain angle by the way, we know what we're up against now. It ain't right. <laughs> uh, rather than save it, if we only thought get rid of those marks, we can come into here. Now that is the original one, which we don't... Oh, we can leave it. So we need to open this up. And we'll open up mine so we can see the settings that I put in there. If we pop the XML as well. The XML should give us <coughs> no spaces. It's just a wall of blue and red. But anyway, you have your work areas. That's what defines each leg. Easy enough. Start with height. Reference node index. Oh, what's that? Ground reference node, I believe it's that. What the duck are you doing, Doug? Falling around on the surface, it's making a lot of noise. <laughs> right, I think that's to do with the ground reference node. One, two. Apparently not, because there's only one defined. Okay. I'm not seeing anything else in there. Well, that just really complicates my life. Reference node index. No, because that's actually an index. So it's pointing to the base. Let's pop the ice well, we have got the ice ready. I'm gonna move this over to this side guys. Just so I can see what's going on in here. So it was O1. That's the reference node then. And that was O2. Hmm. It's been a while since I've messed with these. Right, let's see what we're up against then. So that is for the left one, for the right one. Well, instantly we have a difference. That's 108, that's 0.3. Okay. So it's not going to matter what these say because they're going to be different. Really doesn't help really doesn't help well that's kind of frustrating that's confuddled me already if I pop this one that I've messed around with bring this over here the reference node is actually the same as that the ground reference node 
Oh, the other one does work. So that's the start. We just need to tweak it. Problem is, is when it's done like it's done, it's more of a bitch to tweak. So I'm not going to change anything in the XML. So I don't need that open. Goodbye. Uh, the reason why I left alive those guys is actually for backups. What you need to do with these, if you have these in your mod folder, the game will read the zipped file before the folder. So the folders will be ignored. So we need to pop them out. Stick them on the desktop for now. Always keep a backup. The easiest way to keep a backup is unzip it and take the zip. Job done. Right, where do we need to be? We need to be inside this one. See what this is like then. Right, this is just straight in look. Boom, boom, boom. Simple enough. We're only on speed one. <laughs> but I can mine up a lot higher. I don't think it truly matters with this though so much. What does matter? Why are you stood right next to me whining? What do you want? Go get laid down. It's 20 past 1 in the morning. Give up some. Right, the height's there. The start is right up there. So what's important is the difference between and the wife's good at maths, I'm not. Calculator. <laughs> Alright, if we start on the Do you not maximize that? No, good, good, good. Come here. Come on. Go. Got it. So, start index 0 0.751. It's actually a minus, isn't it? So, minus. We needed the bigger one, didn't we? I just need the difference between, I don't really care which way it is. Minus 1.283. Am I going to really balls this up now? It's giving me a difference. So the difference is 0 0.532. We'll make a note of that in here. Our new one. So 0 0.532. I'm pretty sure this will be the same. One point two eight well, yeah easy way to check there start width width start seven five one seven five one yeah they're exactly the same either side okay we have a value we're golden now with this one same thing again let's find out how wide they are I imagine they're going to be narrower. So we have 0.735 minus that. The hell are you doing? Go back. 0.735 minus. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. 0.983 equals. Wow, that is a lot smaller. That is under half. The difference that I have and that's just the first one so what's this one gonna read so we've got 0 0.9 minus 0 0.644 and the different so the different size width it's just silly that is silly that just complicates the job But it's a beta. This mod is a beta. This one was released as a cultivator. I cannot release it as a subsoiler. It is not my mod. But I can tell you how I did it. And I have. I haven't shown you though. But there are plenty of other examples. Right, so where do we need to be then? Well, mine's working better than this one. So if we copy my settings into this one, we're happy. Cheap and easy way of doing that. You guys obviously can't do it this way. Right, you are not scaled. Good, good. 
we need these legs further out. So hopefully, make life happy. It's not going to make life happy. It's everything. My plan here was to scale it. Bugger. We might get away with it. It doesn't need much. See, that's probably considered too far. But as you can see, it's not that well out. So the three points gone. That is going to have to go into Blender and be stretched properly. Bugger. Right, now you're going to get to see exactly how I did it with the other one. Not ten. Just one. Thank you. So is that part of that? Yeah. It's not the three point out if we do it this way, so that's not going to work. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. And we needed it 1.2, didn't we? So, uh, we'll keep that in there for now. We just need that. So file, export the selection. Uh, we're not going to be in there. We need to be in here. And I want Sunshine Dance test. That's so what I usually do. I do it as an I3D, so I have just that particular part that I can open. I can open that I3D Notepad++. Plus plus, I'll show you. <laughs> Make life easy. I do that so I can do this. And then I have just the files and the material for that particular object. It makes life a lot easier getting it back into i3D once we've tweaked the mod. I'll keep that up. Uh, back into the mod. And then we'll export it again. But this time, we'll stick it down as an OBJ. That is so we can now get it into Blender. And I have the new version or newest version of Blender at the time of recording. Alright, so we're coming in here, we're going to mods, we need to be in there, and we're having you. And you grab it, first thing you do is change this to scale. That is 0.01, tab 0.01, tab 0.01. And then we're going to put that on so I don't need to tell you what I'm saying every time. Alright, so we have the model. This is a good start. We're going to drag that over there. Pop that. Uh, actually, Control A. Rotation and scale just to lock it. Alright, to make life a bit easier, then we're going to go in there, go in there, grab that. And if we pop that back open, it should say Garant Diffuse. Textures Garant Diffuse. Simple. So image, open image, textures, garret diffuse. Ta da! New, new, open, into textures, garret diffuse, jobs are good. Uh, F12 for render, wasn't it? Yes, there we go. F12 again? No, F11. Ha! <laughs> We're back. Right, so what we needed. Oh no, 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 don't do this to me. <sighs> Got it. Rookie mistake. <laughs> the problem you have is it's not zeroed now. It might not actually affect us with this one. But then again, it might, which is really going to annoy me. So, before you take it into Blender, you have to do that. Where the hell is the zero point for this mod? That's re <laughs> Wow. That's quite extreme. But anyway, now it's zeroed. We can export it again. Export the selection back at the test. Yes, replace. And then you go edit, undo, undo undo, put it back where it needs to live, so you have the settings ready for when you get the new one. Because obviously the origin on this is bang in the middle. Why that is so far out, I could not tell you. That's crazy. Why have I just opened Blender again? Okay. That's weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, what we have to do here is delete that. 
bye bye shoo import where from object yes we want that nice it's renamed it to count 01 that might cause a problem did blender remembered that there was another one in there I just bugger that up, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's even worse, what the crap? <laughs> okay. Well, that's crazy. See what I mean by a new blender? New blender, new rules. Hilarious. Have I brought something there that I didn't want to bring? Nope. That's insane. Why is it doing that? This was the way things worked. But it's basing it on that, isn't it? No. Yeah. Try another method. There you go. Zeroed. 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 File. Export selection. Try this again. <laughs> I will not be beaten by it. Not yet. Alright, undo. Put that back where it needs to be. Thank you. Back in the blender again. Delete the latest one. Can see it this time. This is. I'm going to leave its name as it is, just in case. Done it again. That's better. That's a lot better. Now it's where we need it. So if we tab and we can go into here and just pop that and come over here and pop that. <clears throat> and now we should be textured. Yay! And you press Z to go wireframe then press it again for some reason it removes the texture blender's always done that it's crazy so we have a texture model that is ready to export however this is probably going to knacker the textures but what we needed was con shift d in here uh, we needed the x to be 1.2 didn't we so what I'm gonna do though it may look shocking is grab what we on beautiful that works perfectly so I'll press A and select it Z to go transparent pop C to bring up this dude there and we're gonna select every little bad boy over here now, if I scale it, it's going to knacker it. So I need a reference point. No, I don't. I can use the numbers. Ha! So we'll drag that. And I wonder. Can I pin it to an edge? can maybe it does all of you select it on there doesn't it yes it does so I can awesome that pins it to the edge of that makes it perfect because we did actually need it a little bit smaller nice this is gonna work well we can do this a to deselect C grab all these little goodies again to make sure we got them yep 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 hit that again make sure we're on the right bit I want that edge there so it's G X beautiful right then in theory that gives us the right size model delete that 
this should be alright. Rotation scale, I'm going to do it anyway. It doesn't hurt. So in theory, that is now the width we need. If we save the blender file, it makes life a little bit easier. To just go... Boom. You may need to tweak these. I'm alright with my settings. And we should now have this. But this will be defective. Told you. Which is where this comes in. Control copy. Do we have a normal file? We do. Cheeky. There we go. And this is the challenging bit. To make the normal file work so your model doesn't appear black, you need to add tangent equals true to that line there. I've already got it set up as you can see. And depending on what, how you ooh, ooh, bother, I never made a note of the material number. It's normally two. It is indeed two. And you can get rid of static because that may cause you a problem if you get to untick the box in GE. But that now should work spot on. Let's pop it, find out. No errors, all is good. Let's go take out these textures, see how badly they look now. That. isn't too horrendous actually I think we've got away with that quite well because we didn't have to move it that far it's not done too much stretching yep I think we're good there guys sweet so all we do now is bugger off come back into here and file import u control x Move it up here, and move it up one, grab this, control shift C because it grabs the X, Y and Z numbers. Come back into this, control shift V to paste all the numbers and she is back in the perfect place, but just slightly wider look. Champion. Bugger, next problem, the damn legs. They're not separate are they? No, why would they be separate? Why, why, why would they be separate ever? Nothing's ever that simple, is it? <laughs> Bugger. So we're going to have to take the legs as well, but for now we can get rid of that. So we have to repeat the process with the legs. Export selection. You also need zero in as well. Remember. Control D. X, V, if you have nothing selected it'll poke it down there. So we'll just set all this lot to zero. And then file, export selection, we'll put a test down first. Yes I do. And we'll come back over here, grab that, but then we're going to go into i3D and we'll just stick it over that. <laughs> And now if you pop notepad, there we go, the test has changed. It is now pointing at the leg. And there are two parts to the leg. Hilarious. But if there's two parts to the leg, two materials, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, why would you do this to yourself? That's stupid. Two materials, FS15. No, 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 that's naughty. You're killing me. Yep. Problem is, which one's which? I'm going to imagine that the legs are. We are Garant and Zinken. The zinc into the teeth. It's the garant. Oh, let's pull it in Blender and find out. We're going to end up with three parts here. <laughs> Look at it that way. 
Do we need we do need that open? No, I'm not sure. Back in a blender. We're gonna have to join that we can join that with whatever is the weird part we're about to bring in. So import we'll have the test. The shear. Which it's the first time it's come in, so it's not got the numbers at the end of it. Alright, I believe they're the problem. They're obviously the teeth, so that'll be the sink and that will be meant to be on this. I can easily sort that out while we're in here. Right, so first job is going to be grab that, select all that, and go for. It could be them. Well, there is no overlapping. Very strange. Oh, look what we have up in the top corner here. <laughs> I reckon they're exactly the same. I think we found our problem. So if we go Z and C, we can grab that, we can grab that. And if we try and get in close to this, we should also be able to grab this lot. And because we're on select vertices rather than edges, it's not going to grab the edges. There we go. Now I think if we collect P now and bugger them lot off, we're going to be a lot happier. That's my personal opinion on that one. However, I've just shot myself in the foot, haven't I? Yes. Bugger. So we'll join them back up. Move that. And the reason why I figured I've shot myself in the foot was because they're perfectly matched at the minute to those legs. Crap, still want shift tab. Right, that is in the middle. For the sake of uh, perfectionism. Now it's definitely in the middle. Make sure. <laughs> Where do we need to be here? That there will do it, won't it? So G X marks the spot. I'm gonna need to get a different angle on this. Can I get a bit more visual? Come on, play nice. I can't quite get the hit I want to get here. I'll go for a shot. There we go. That's better. I think it's just touching that inside a little bit. Oh, I think we're going to touch out one of them. Right, we'll go for that one then. That's simpler. Okay, so now it's in the right place. Right, so A, Z, C, we want them, we want them, and we want them. Now we should be able to do the P trick. Alright, we now have three objects. I want this one. Um, thinking the best thing we can do with this is join it to that. I am pretty sure that's where it needs to be. The only way you find out is by 
I unwrapping the little kit. Holy hell. Well that was unexpected. So what bit did what then? Here we go Z A. Okay, they're bigger than I thought they were gonna be. So are they. <laughs> well that complicates things. They are definitely meant to be on there. But the little ones are supposed to be up there. What the hell? That doesn't make any sense. Wrong one. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Literally, the really, really complicated it here. The twin, the two materials will not work with the dirt skin. The dirt will not appear. If this model even has dirt on it, definitely have on the frame. See what I need to see. I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to be looking at. See, they're dirty. Correct? This is how you remove the dirt from testing. Alright, so everything with that material just got cleaned up. Oh, it's the bigger one, it doesn't match anymore, does it? <laughs> Is that even going to show up? Through that thing? I don't know. I don't like two materials. Two materials is not good. It's very, very bad. But looking at that, they should still be a part of this. Hmm. I don't know what to suggest yet. They're all going to go on the same material. Look at it that way. <laughs> uh, can we? Yes, we can. There's nothing up in that top corner, look. So, what we could do is take that top corner and throw it on there. Then it ain't going to matter. Hmm. Save it as a DXT1 because there's no specular. Back into Blender. <coughs> and rejoin them, I guess. Hopefully, I've not just broke it. Should be fine. Alright, so back in, Control A, everything's on the same one. Uh, did we actually bring the image? No, we didn't. Okay, so open, textures, and zinc and diffuse. Yep, everything's matching up nicely. Good, good. Uh, we need a new texture. If we come down here, apply textures, all is well, he says. Oh well, yeah, it will be now because we've done it right, haven't we? We're good. It doesn't matter if they're off because they've got the right colours in. Right then, we're golden. That's done. This is done. Now it's done. <laughs> Texture is applied, export selection, it's going to overwrite the previous one, but I'm not too worried. Uh, we need to be in there, don't we? Sitting in there. Yep, done, 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 done. 
Do we need to be at the bottom for anything? Uh, not that I can remember. Ah, now we have a problem with this. We only need the zincan. We do not need the garant stuff. So, what's that? Seven, eight, six, six, seven, eight, even. Yes, goodbye. Flexion map, four, four, five, five. Shoo. I'll copy that. And if I'm correct, Jail ID 2, yes, we'll get rid of static again while we're down the bottom here. And I might have a bit easier by doing this to get to the top. Find it, replace it. There is no other one. And then just grab the materials. So V, yep, yep. Change that to 2. Save. Jobs are good and I have confidence, so we'll go straight in. No errors. Beautiful. Control X. Control V. Let's steal the details. Control Shift. Copy. Why is that moved over on the X axis? Right, I can now get rid of you. We don't actually need to run up and we brought it in, didn't we? Ha! <laughs> I've got the full thing. So I can shut that down. Nope, don't need to save the thing. Awesome. Material let it in. Uh, yeah, pop that back. There we go. Right, that's the smaller one. That needs to go. This one should now be in the right place then. That looks pretty right. If anything, it's too far over. Interesting. I actually think it maybe is too far over. That could be a problem. It is too far over. Oh, look. What happens when you put that back? <laughs> I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we have a wider subsoiler. This is good. Right then, so as we've got them all defined like this, why don't we just make the start? And you're back to front. Are you kidding me? Left goes on the left side. Why is it over at the right side? <laughs> oh, my life. Uh, let's make this real easy. Hmm. I'm going to put that at zero. Straight up, a big fat solid zero. And then I'm going to go set this to 0.532. And it's going to go the wrong way now, isn't it? Yes. So what we can do then is go for a minus. And the height index. Curious. I'm going to base on this one, which is 145, but that goes forwards. You're killing me. <laughs> so out of 5 to that and you get 60, out of 40 you get 70, out of 1 you get 8. So it's 800 forwards or backwards, depending. So minus 0.8. So boom, boom, boom. I like. Job's good. Alright. You behave yourself. You behave yourself. Let's do the same with this then. Zero it up. 0 0.532. 
No, you are zero, do you have a start? You need to be minus 0 0.532 zeroed. Bada bing, bada boom. Zeroed. Why you rotate? What the hell? That's not rotated. Why is that rotated? Stop complicating things. Width 532, yes, and that was on the Z minus 0.8. Done. Right then. That should make life a bit easier. So where exactly do mine begin? 1283. Ooh. Ah, yes, the starts over there, isn't it? So it needs to match the width, and they're exactly the same. Okay. All right, you are zero, are you? Yes, you are. Awesome. So, like, real easy. Just drag it over. Real easy with this one. Put it over there. Make sure we can see it. We'll do this. Right, I actually wanted it on the front of the tooth, didn't I? So, drag it to the front of the tooth. Voila. Control Shift Copy. Control Shift V. We've got them perfectly positioned now then. Let's just have a look at the width. I'd say it covers that leg pretty well. Really well in fact. Maybe just drag it over a little bit more. There we go. Right, so this one. Make sure we can get that red angle. There we are. Pop you there. And the width. Maybe not far enough. There we go, and the height's going to put it back here. Beautiful. Right then, I'd say that's done. Let's find out what the game thinks of our little adjustments here. Right, we don't have... No, okay, we're good. Let's test this out. While this loads, milkshake. Something so simple, and currently we've been going for 47 minutes. <laughs> At least that's how long I've been recording for. Give or take a few seconds. Right, assuming we've got everything right, no errors. This is good. It looks wider. This is good. Let's see how it performs. Okay, now you see look, we have the two definite marks. Keep it in the ground, do a little bit of Tom of it. We're not gonna see nothing there, are we? No. That was silly. <laughs> Pop it in here. There we are. So, as you can see look, it is dropping stuff slightly off centre. But they're not half bad. I think I got the sizes pretty damn well. Smack on. Again look, it's off going to the right this time, come over here, the now over at the left, come over here, where are they now? Kind of in the middle, no, they're over to the left. And obviously when you're in here that we can't actually see, I'm presuming they'll be over to the right. Yep, they are, it's killing stuff over to the right, look, so over to the right now. It's weird, depending on which way you're facing, depends on how far they go. But I reckon those sizes are pretty good. So it's 0 0.532 between the start and the width, and then 800 back to the height. Obviously, fine tune as you see fit, but that is also how you scale something up the difficult way. An easier way of doing it was the first way we tried, but obviously, it didn't knock everything out. The three point moved, so the three point would have ended up just well out of whack. The only way to do that is to do it how I did it there grab the individual vertices and stretch. And I say you get away with it 
as long as you don't go too far otherwise the texture stretches and it just looks crap but that is a lot easier one to work with than the Euro Jailman. The Euro Jailman required a lot more work than what that did. But yeah, success in the end. Right then guys, that's how you mess about with subsoilers and get tram lines. I was like, it's not the perfect way of doing it. It's not exactly realistic. But it works. I think in real life, subsoilers are used to break up really, really tough ground. But most people if they look after the compaction levels just use it for breaking up tram lines before you go and plough up a field properly you just go around the tram lines and subsoil them one of the things that they're used for but in farm sim we use subsoilers to make tram lines <laughs> it's literally backwards <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed the episode guys we'll catch you next time Later. hey guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up subscribe if you want to hang around Catch you next time.